Hey guys, this is ZAKRC here, and I kind of made my uh, rearranged my basement a little bit. Now I have this little white folding table here. It's gonna be kind of my new studio since it's white and like the crappy green over there, where it's kind of a bad look. But yeah, it's kind of my new filming type of deal. And today I'm bringing you a new car, not all new, but a new design I made. This is from my Rustler. This car was my Rustler originally. And, uh, made to a slash. And I wanted to do this because my Vader SCT, which you all know from my overview and everything, that thing's A-arms are a little too wide for racing. And the slash's A-arms are perfect. And, uh, yeah, I slapped those on my Rustler and I extended the chassis. But here's the old one I had to spare and I had to extend it. And yeah, so I'll go through what I had to do to make it. So, yeah, it's to buy from my Vader, or my SC10 originally, then this is my Slash. It's basically every short course truck's body at one point. So that's what's inside the chassis. And that's what it is. Now, I didn't plan on originally making this a mid-motor. I wasn't planning on originally making it a rear motor. But then when I thought, I was like, hey, could I quickly make this a, a mid-motor? I was like, why don't I think of that? So, yeah, I made a mid-motor. So not as it only an LCG slash from a rustler, it's also a mid-motor. So that's just awesome. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you how I made it. And I'll actually, first I'll kind of show you around. I didn't have any support back here, which isn't a big deal because it's all RPM. So, yeah, that's basically what it looks like. And then the bottom everything the top view from here forward is basically rustler and then this bumper is a slash and then these body mounts i flipped around and it's a slash body mount basically and uh yeah i installed my brother's old rpm a arms for the rear and the reason why he doesn't use these is because this one's actually cracked up in here which i'll show you right there so can't use those and uh, yeah, I just put those A-arms on, I adjust the links, and it's about slash uh, length. And the reason why I have these tires on, which I don't really like them at all, just the front ones are good. The rear, these ones are not good for indoors, they're pretty good for just bashing. But this is all I had, and uh, if I'm going to go racing with this car, which is probably going to be one of my race cars, I'm just going to take the tires off of one of the cars I'm not running, like my 4x4 slash, which I never race, and then put those on here, and then it'll be ready to go. So yeah, a little bit more showing around how I did it. So what I did was I took the gearbox cover, as you can see. Well, not the gearbox cover, the gearbox case. And I shaved it off to the side of the chassis here so that it would fit. And also how I drilled my holes is I lined up the slash chassis. I mean, not the slash chassis, the rustler chassis and the slash chassis. And I found out that I could just drill holes here and here. Unlike the last time I attempted doing this where I just made a weird thing on the body so yeah i'll show you the measurements my trusty tape measure which is spray painted so i gotta use some other numbers so it's extended an inch from the middle of that screw to the middle to kind of the middle of that screw and this is a little longer than usual not super long but yeah it's an inch so yeah, just an inch forward, drill a hole, an inch forward, drill a hole. And also what that does is sets these little ears on the gear case. I have little, like, parts in it where it comes out. It'll line up really good with the bottom of the chassis. So yeah, there's before and after. And also I took a metal plate. And I have cut it out so it could fit in here. And I also drilled the new holes and all the other holes. And I fit it in here. And I did drill two other holes for the front side of the gearbox right here because I don't think I really needed it. And I didn't use the two screws there because it would hit the gear case. So, and also, I just put those ones, those little screws and nuts right there. I don't know if you can see it under the motor, but yeah, that's what I did. And also, this is a sensor motor. I mean, not a sensor, a sensorless motor. And it can only work with sensorless motors because it's not a four gear so if it had to work you'd have to have it either a four gear you have to make some sort of custom tranny to fit back here otherwise it's only sensorless 
And as you can see, yeah, this is a censored motor, but I just unplugged the wires so it works. And then also I made a brace for the top so there's no flex. I'm trying to eliminate that. So I took some washers and then an old battery chain from my first Rustler chassis which snapped. And I ground it down and I measured it. And I put another spacer in there and I locked it in with the screw and a nut through the back hole in the shock tower. And uh works really nice. I love it. So I think that's pretty much it. And oh yeah, I mounted my body mounts in front of the shock tower like that when I flipped it backwards and it fits exactly like stock. And uh, I had to lower it a lot because the body is sitting kind of high. So yeah guys, that is my LCG mid-motor Traxxas Slash. And I'm going to have some running videos when I go to the track next week. So yeah guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment, rate, subscribe. And see you guys later.